everybody, Jim T. Graham with RC Groups. We're out on the track today with the Hellion Dominus, and this is the V2. I had jumped on the internet before I got this, and I was looking at all the videos from the previous version, and I'm very happy to say that, uh, and you will see the abuse we put this truck through, endo, sideways, on its top, full speed blasts into oblivion, and this thing took it all. I also want to brag on the battery, uh, nickel metal, or, or uh, yeah, the nickel metal battery, you know, when's the last time I ran one of those? It's been eight years probably, but that thing lasted a long time. I don't know exactly how long, at least 15 minutes, maybe longer. And then we have a three cell in it, which I'm sure will shorten the life of some of the components, but the three cell is awesome too. Great jumps. Um, the track you see behind me is really what I think it's made for. Some, some nice jumping, some soft dirt, and some side slides and power slides. It does donuts like a madman. And uh, Jason Cole and I have been out here, and this is our old stomping grounds in the old days. This is where we used to run our trucks. So uh, I'm a big fan of it, and I'm going to get Jason, who uh, also has been driving this truck, to give his input and let us know what he thinks about it. But, I mean, I'll just go over a few points. The suspension, low enough to keep you from uh, toppling over every time you turn left, but uh, also soft enough to take a good jump. Every time it rolled, it almost always landed back on its tires and, you know, we could rip on. Um, I didn't pop a bum bumper. I didn't blow anything out of the undercarriage and all the abuse we put it through. And it's pretty dang fast, especially on the three cell, which you'll see when we do a blast up the asphalt here. We also ran it on a little track. It's not what it's made for, but just wanted to see what it would do. So in conclusion, is a guy who likes to bash a truck. I like to take it in my backyard or take it on a trip with me and just see what it can do. I'm not kidding. For the price, this thing appears to do everything it says it can do and it can take the abuse that you or anyone else is gonna put it through. I'm really impressed. Before we go to our field footage, I thought we'd take a closer look at the Dominus 10 SC V2. Keyword here being the V2, there have been a lot of changes. The first obvious change is the body style. It's slightly different. We'll pop that off and uh, look under the hood to see what's different underneath. So this thing comes with a brushless system, which is awesome. We have a programmable ESC with thermal overload and fan. We also have a waterproof servo, which would come in handy. The battery is killer. It's a 3000 milliamp nickel metal that lasts for 19 minutes. Love it. And then we have the 3500 kV brushless motor. We have a protective case that's clear so you can see your gears in there. We have long travel suspension arms and adjustable oil fill coil over tuned shocks with bladders. And I found that it, you know, really did pretty good on jumps and it really stuck to the ground when I was busting around corners. The tires are V-grip long wear tires and they're, uh, they have kind of an off-road realistic styled wheels. And, you know, this worked off-road for me, and it also worked on the asphalt. I could actually slide around a little bit. The durability factor in the Dominus is high, and I will show you that in my off-road footage. Also, it has these aluminum skid guards, which I fully utilize to the maximum extent. So let's take it out and run it and show you what it's got. We're out at the track with the Hellion Dominus, Jason Cole. You know, Jason and I used to race cars out here many, many years ago when it was just a parking lot. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think so far, Jason? I would say for the damage reel, the death and destruction <laughs> reel, we have a lot of great footage. We definitely have tumbled and flipped and rolled this thing all over the place, and it's held up great. No damage so far. Uh, the speed is pretty nice, even on a nickel metal hydrogen battery. So, I, I can't wait to see what this thing would do on a, a lipo, a three cell lipo. But plenty fast especially for beginners uh, who just want to take out a, a nice rugged uh, you know off-road truck and, and get some jumps in and have some fun and not worry about damaging it too much and, it, it's uh, not so jacked up in the air that it's gonna flip it, you, whenever it flips it almost always lands back on its feet yeah, that's one thing I've been endoing it a lot off of some of these bumps this course has not been groomed in a long time so it's not not ideal necessarily for racing and being real smooth but uh, it is definitely a great rugged place to, to jump and bash and play around and, and kick up some dust trails. So this thing is kicking butt in that area for sure. Well, we'll run around this a few more times and then let's take it over to the asphalt, which it's absolutely not made for, but I'd like to see how it does around some corners. Yeah, let's do it.
So there's the documentation of the abuse we put the Dominus through. We really worked it. Here's the beautiful before shot. And uh, I made sure I took an after shot. The nickel metal battery that came with it, I've got 19 to 20 minutes out of that thing. They give you two. Awesome. I did not expect that. I thought the power was just right. Not too much, not too little. It went as fast as I wanted to go. As you saw, every time, and look at that after shot, not pretty. Well, pretty, just not clean. But uh, every time we flipped it, man, it almost always landed back on its feet, which was amazing. I had no idea what to expect when we got it, and both Jason and I were blown away. It just took all the abuse, and it handled great, and, you know, like a cat, it lands on its feet. So I approve the Dominus 10 SCV2. I'm just a backyard basher. I'm certainly no pro, but I have broken my fair share of uh, trucks, and this little girl took it. So go get a Dominus. I'm Jim Graham with RC Groups. I hope this has been beneficial in your RC car research.